So how do we focus on stars and why it is difficult to do so? Well, we all know the night sky full of stars, but the stars are often small and they are often faint. And if we look at them for quite a long time, you will see that they move. But that's okay because we can create nice star trails. So one could ask why not to use autofocus? Well, because stars are small and faint, autofocus will fail and hunt forever for, for lock on them. Some exception, maybe the moon, or maybe a distant beacon of light. And either way, the best way is to manual focus on star. And I know it sounds difficult, but if you use the live view and you magnify it, a bright star on it, then you can look for three telltale signs that your focus is good. And these signs are related to the star size, better the focus, the smaller the stars become, you pass the focus, the stars increase again in size, or chromatic aberration, it's going the same way, when you are in focus you have the minimum chromatic aberration and then it gets up again, or you can look at the number of stars that are visible. You start with a few blobs of light and then you focus and you arrive to see stars, both the bright one and the faint one. Nice! But can we do better? Yes, we can uh, avoid to simply a bowling for focusing, uh, using a focusing mask. This is a focusing device that is good and cheap and you put in front of the lens. The most famous one is the batting of mask which have cuts that are oriented in three different ways. These cuts they create a diffraction patterns and spikes that irradiate from the stars. How do we use them? Two of these spikes they are fixed, the third one moves with the focus. When we are out of focus the two fixed uh, spikes meet at the stars but the third one not. So to go in focus you have to bring the third spike to cross the other two at the star. Now, the button of mask has been invented for telescope, which have a rather long focal length. So they work really well with the long telephoto lenses with focal lengths more than 200 mm. The problem is with the short focal lens. And this is because while the button of mask could fit on your lens, the width of the gaps is often too wide to create uh, usable uh, uh, spikes. So you need something finer, a finer mesh. So what you can do is to custom made and 3D print your own mask or you can get creative and go in the kitchen and take a kitchen sieve like the one you use to filter the tea. Or you can use a splatter shield like the one you use on your fry pan to avoid oil to go everywhere. Either way, this kind of device, they have a fine mesh and when you pop them in front of your lens, you, they create a diffraction spikes. That these spikes are fixed as opposite of those for the button of mask, so you have to, to take care to get them as sharp as you can. If you find this still um, not as precise enough, you have to turn to electronically assisted astrophotography. This means that the stars are photographed by a camera that is connected to a computer. And the software on the computer get the image and estimate, for instance, the size of the star and will guide you to minimize their size and so to achieve the best focus you can. And this is pretty much everything and thanks for watching.